f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 2. We want to find f prime of 3. Now here we have some new notation. What does f prime of 3 mean? Well, it means we want to find the derivative of f. That's what f prime is. f prime is the derivative of f at x equals 3. Well, the first thing to do is to find the derivative of f. And to find the derivative of f, we have to use the limit notation. So we have the definition of the derivative here, which says that we first have to plug x plus h into f. Well, we have 1 over stuff minus 2. That means we're going to have 1 over stuff minus 2 minus the function, which is 1 over x minus 2, and all over h. Well, this is pretty nasty. Whenever you have some rational function like this, it is going to be rather nasty. And the trick here is to get a common denominator on top. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by x plus h minus 2 over x plus h minus 2. I'll multiply this fraction by x minus 2 over x minus 2. And that will give us a common denominator in the upper part of our fraction. So here we have, this is the limit as h approaches 0 of x minus 2 over x plus h minus 2 times x minus 2 minus x plus h minus 2 over x plus h minus 2 times x minus 2 and this is all over h. Well, now I can subtract my fractions and in doing so I have to remember to distribute this negative to the entire numerator of my second fraction. That's extremely important and many people often mistake that. So here we have the limit as h approaches 0. We have x minus x that cancels out. We have negative 2 minus negative 2 that's negative 2 plus 2 that cancels out. We've got the negative h on top over x plus h minus 2 times x minus 2 over h. Well, when we divide by a fraction, this is really h over 1, we're really multiplying by the reciprocal. So dividing by h over 1 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over h. And when we do this, you'll notice that my h's cancel out. But the negative still stays on top. So here we have the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 1 over x plus h minus 2 times x minus 2. And if you plug 0 into h here, this h goes away. And now, this is equal to negative 1 over x minus 2 times x minus 2, which can be simplified as negative 1 over x minus 2 squared. And that is f prime of x, the derivative of f. Now, we are asked to find f prime of 3 which is the same thing as saying the slope of the tangent line to f at x equals 3. And here we just plug in 3. 3 minus 2 is 1 squared is 1 and negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. And so the slope of the tangent line to f at x equals 3 is equal to negative 1. 